So this morning we're just looking at our what we call 15 minute bug out boxes. Um, I have these pre-staged just in case we need to do an emergency evacuation. Maybe there's a fire in the neighborhood or since we live on a peninsula, you know, something could happen in the bay, chemical spill, different things. And I don't want to have to think about, you know, what I'm running out the door with knowing that the potential is I may not be able to come back. So this is a way that I can prepare my family and make sure that we're set. Give us about a month's worth of supplies or more um, in the event of an emergency. So every year um, in January, I usually empty all these boxes out, go through them, rotate through stock, and then freshen them back up. And so since we're repacking this box, I'm just gonna pull this off here. I can see before I even start going through it exactly what's in it. And um, since Ryan and I, we both eat vegan, um, this may look a lot different than maybe what you would put in your one month supply of food. But um, this is good for us. So here's what's in the box. Um, for those of you that understand long-term food storage, you know, there are freeze-dried and packaged, packaged foods that have two years to 25 years shelf life based on how they were canned in the first place. And these are all, you know, dehydrated shelf-stable foods. Freeze, if they're freeze-dried, you can get 25 years out of them until you open them. Once you open them, then you need to get through them within a month or so. But um, anyway, it's quite a bit of food. And I'm thinking I'm going to change some of these out because this is really for a month's food storage. But when I look at it today, it kind of seems like it's based on a lot of um, cooking opportunity, which when you bug out, you know, sometimes you're cooking in a more camping style. And it's just up to you how much energy you want to put into that. So I might change this up some. Again, sorry about the light, but I'll talk about it a little bit anyway. So it's got layers. Um, these are all basically MRE style foods in here. Actually, I'm not going to open it. Uh, cashews. I think those are mostly jalapeno cashews. Some mainstay bars. Um, that's just basically calories, just carbs, sugar and grain, and these things, and some fat. Uh, it's not, I mean, they're tasty. They taste like shortbread cookies or whatever, but, you know, it's not for uh, nutrition so much as just feeding your body when you're in a crisis and you need to eat now or on the move. And then there's the MRE tortillas. And people, <laughs> not everybody likes these, but I think they're pretty good. Um, and then in the freeze-dried section, peaches, hash browns, you know, there's potatoes, there's vegetables and oatmeal, some flour. So I have down there tomatoes and more potatoes. So we're real heavy on the veg. Now I had some dehydrated foods that were packaged differently and to me they've had color change so I know there's oxidation going on. The cabbage is gonna go. And probably probably all of these bell peppers, these are supposed to be carrots. Look how brown they turn. So when they're packaged well and sealed well, they should stay that brownish orange color when they're freeze dried. And that's a little dark to me, so I'm gonna change it up. So this was assuming I was gonna bake cornbread in a cast iron skillet or something. And I might change that as well. There's some freeze dried fruit. The onions look fine, so those will stay. You gotta have your oils, so there's peanut oil olive oil and this has to be uh, simple spices so I just took you know a seafood boil some southwest seasoning and a Cajun seasoning I don't want to get bored with what we have so we want to change up those flavor profiles when we need to and it's a good thing that we're changing this out today because the expiration is in January of 2021 so I probably want to go through these so I'll swap them out with some new ones and I'll change out our easy soups the rice looks good. Uh, cliff bars, we definitely trade these out every year because we eat them constantly. And so I'll probably swap these. And then more of these emergency food bars. Got quite a few of them. 
when you're setting up camp, you know, assuming, it just depends on where you're headed. You might head somewhere where you have lots of opportunity and lots of stores are still open and all those things, but maybe that's not the case. So you might need some easy foods just to keep you moving. And then in the box, I haven't pulled these back out. But I have lentils, adzuki beans, and some more rice, parboiled, and sugar for all that oatmeal or any other reason you need lots of sugar for electrolytes. So salt and sugar is a big deal. Um, oh, there was salt up there. I don't think I showed you. Anyway, you can see here, I packaged these in 2016. They're vacuum sealed, they've got bay leaves inside. I test my seals and as long as the seals are good, I'm not worried. That can stay there for however long. I'm not worried about trading that out. Um, so that box is gonna be fine. But I think my biggest goal is to back off on some of this 25 year supply shelf life and pull out some of these dehydrated. These were not freeze dried, they were dehydrated, so they did oxidize over time. And change some of that out with some easy foods like Backpacker's Pantry, this pad thai is really good, and it's vegan. And then of course like M other MRE snacks. There are some vegan options in that arena. That's pretty much it. Okay, until we move on to the next box. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, please check out the affiliate links from Amazon that we have listed down below. They will be based on products that you actually saw in the video, uh, things that we actually use, and we would really appreciate it. It will support Kelpie Ventures' channel. Have a great day.